It's time for our cash tag segment. For that, let's bring in Man Megan Brantley, uh, Vice President of Research at Like uh, Folio. Megan, welcome back to the show. Happy Friday. Thanks for having me again, guys. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Um, PayPal, uh, this stock just severely underperformed over the last couple of years. You know, it seems like, you know, with over 400 me million people using, uh, you know, one form of, you know, their ecosystem, that they'd be doing okay. Growth numbers are there, but it just doesn't seem like there's that growth or monetization in this uh, in this company. What kind of data do you have? Uh, does it deserve to be, you know, in the penalty box? Yeah, so whenever we look at this name, I think this is just such a prime example of a first mover in a space that kind of dropped the bag a bit. And we're starting to see signs at a high level that some of the bleeding is stopping. If we look at just overall PayPal mention buzz, and this is counting all mentions for PayPal and its subsidiaries, including Venmo and Braintree, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But we see that down by about 22% year over year. The good news is, is that this used to be worse, right? This year over year decline, that loss of momentum was worse. And then we do see signs whenever we tighten up that moving average a bit that it's starting to get better. So maybe some of the bleeding is stopping there just in terms of overall um, consumer buzz and loss of momentum. And a lot of that, whenever we break this down by brand, it's being bolstered by its Venmo arm, which is its peer-to-peer -peer payment system, and also Braintree. And that's um, an ecosystem that helps companies be able to process online and mobile payments specifically. Whenever we look at web visits, we see overperformance in Braintree specifically. And I think this is really positive or can be a positive point for the company moving forward because this is an area that's growing and that is seeing positive traction. So this is kind of you know how we're looking at it from a high level perspective. I'm interested to see what you guys are paying attention to as well. Megan, I think of PayPal, and I think they make revenue off of off of transactions, right? But they don't have a card to swipe like Visa and Mastercard. But every time you shop online, they should be similar to Visa and Mastercard, right? Because when you shop online, they get fees from each transaction. Plus, they got Venmo. They've got peer-to-peer -peer stuff that's the Cadillac of that industry. Why isn't this name doing well? They're, you know, why, why have they stopped growing? What, what ball did they drop? Because it appears they have. Because in an, a digital currency world that we live in now, they should be doing so much better than they're doing. Yeah, 100%. I think that one thing that they do, do did do well was its acquisition of Venmo and really bolstering that brand that does seem to be performing well and has a high level of happiness among consumers. But where we really see, in our data at least, mentioned struggling is in its PayPal brand. You know, whenever you're going to check out, it's a little bit harder to check out with PayPal or it seems like it is versus other things, especially on your iPhone if you're just checking out on mobile, you know, just a, a quick click and a face, you know, a face scan and you're checking out. So I think that there's some hurdles there that the company um, is trying to overcome. But, you know, whenever we look at overall happiness levels, though, and this is perhaps our longest term indicator that things might be starting to turn around for PayPal. We see overall those happiness levels are up by six points year over year. So maybe some of the changes that leadership is making are working. And we also see whenever we break this down on a brand level, and we often compare this to um, Block or Square and Cash App in our um, ecosystem, we see that PayPal and Venmo are now starting to trend higher than Square and Cash App. And this used to be flipped. So this is something to Definitely to keep an eye on potentially a first spark or a, you know sign of life of positive momentum on our front. Now on the competition front, uh, Megan, I'm going to push it over to other competitors in this space because as Kevin mentioned, it's uh, transactions, right? Now you've got Apple with Apple Pay, you've got Google Pay, uh, that's competitors. Where hey, if I'm looking at something online, all I have to do is double click for Apple Pay and it gets paid. I don't need PayPal at all. Is that a concern? especially when you see the PayPal mentions are so far uh, above where the stock's actually trading uh, in your other chart. 
Yeah, you know, that is probably our, our biggest area of concern is for this PayPal namesake brand. And because of the competition, like you mentioned, uh, another name that we see growing um, really well, especially on a web visits front that's not on any of these charts, is Shopify. You know, that's another easy, you know, click to shop pay. And we're seeing a lot of consumers utilize that option. So it's definitely something to watch. But I do think PayPal is an enormous company. It's obviously processing, you know, billions in transactions. So I think that this is still a name that it's not not quite time to give up on it yet and so we're starting to see like i said those positive signs of traction perhaps some of the bleeding is done and you know there could be some room for optimism especially on the long-term front and we're still about a month out from earnings yeah uh, management also making uh some changes trying to tighten up uh uh, the organization uh, of the business also tighten it up more uh, along the lines of the Venmo part of their business. Uh, real quick, last thing, Megan, uh, you guys got a big game tomorrow. I know you're a big <laughs> Alabama fan. You guys are getting an 11 and a half points. Can you beat Connecticut for me? Because my Boilermakers, we do not want to see Connecticut in the final. Well, my goodness, I hope so. That, that will be who I am cheering for, obviously. Um, got to sign off with a real tie. Well, I hope uh, we get to see you guys in the final on Monday, but uh, we'll have to wait and see on that. All right, great stuff. Have a good weekend, Megan. Thanks, guys. You too. All right, that's Megan Brantley, Vice President of Research at Likefolio, breaking down PayPal.